Good morning, students. Welcome to online political science class. Again, we are moving towards the same chapter. That is chapter four, and the chapter is executive. So, uh, I am moving towards a new area today. Okay, we have finished up prime minister, and after that, we are moving towards a new area, and that is president. Okay, so we all know president. Who is president? Who is president? President is the head of the nation he is the head of the country he is the head of the state okay so uh, he is also called the first citizen of the country in india we give him much respect okay he is always given a, as an uh, high dignitary position okay he is a ceremonial head so always he is in a very respectful position in the country mainly in a parliamentary democratic country like india okay so <coughs> with president i am taking up my video today okay so let's start now who is the president that is first citizen of the country he is the head of the state that is country okay so he is the head of the nation so at what age president can become a president in india at the age of 35 when a person becomes 35 then a person can contest for election in the indian uh, uh, parliamentary system okay so see here elected by electoral college how he is elected he is elected by an electoral college now what is electoral college don't take it as a college okay it is an electoral college now electoral college consists of a body what is the body see here lok sabha members of lok sabha members of rajya sabha members of state legislative assembly okay so there are three areas of people that cover up okay so members of lok sabha members of rajya sabha and members of state legislative assembly they contest election okay which comes into power a person who becomes the president okay so they indirectly vote okay how this president is uh, there is two type of voting you know in india there are two types of voting so he is indirectly voted indirectly voted by the mls and mps not by us we people we don't vote we the citizens of india we don't vote for the president so the mps the mls who are our representative in the country they go and they vote for the president okay so while becoming a president uh, only some uh, few selected people stands for an election category okay not like in a uh, like prime minister she where many parties came comes they go and contest for election and then one person becomes prime minister not like that only some people four to five people they contest an election of president and from there uh, the he is elected so the body is name is electoral college okay now see here uh, powers so when we are going to this area now we will get many types of powers okay many types of powers of the uh, president then council of minister then they and this and that okay so i am taking up today one power that is executive power okay executive power so let's start now executive power <coughs> first i written down here for your convenience see appoints pm okay who is pm prime minister the president appoints the प्राइम मिनिस्टर आपने देखा होगा शपथ ग्रहण कराते समय तो ये शपथ ग्रहण का जो काम है ये करता है प्रेसिडेंट देन एक और भी है काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स उनको भी शपथ ग्रहण कराता है ठीक है चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड हाई कोर्ट उनको भी कराता है उसके बाद अदर ऑफिशियल्स और अदर हाई डिटेलिस्ट ऑफिशियल्स को भी वो स्वर्ण कराता है वो शपथ ग्रहण कराता है सो ही अपॉइंट मेनी पीपुल इन दी country okay so next one is he is the supreme leader of defense forces to so, agar hum india mein dekhenge hamara india mein kitna defense force hai there are three uh, branches na three branches of 
defense force which are they they are uh, army navy and air force army navy and air force so they are the uh, defense forces army navy and air force so <coughs> president is the leader he is the chief commander of these three branches army navy and air force so he is the leader or commander of the defense forces okay next he receives foreign ambassadors foreign ambassadors now who are the ambassadors jo hota hai na ek office jahan pe bahut sare log kaam karte hain jo visas banate hain all these things ye ek hota hai ambassadors okay so he receives ambassadors from different country of high dignitaries bhi hote hain jinko wo receive karta hai so he is one of the duty is to receive higher ambassadors who comes from different foreign countries okay next dekho he administers union territories to hamare india mein kitna union territories hai seven okay abhi recently delhi to capital ban gaya hai abhi so it became a state to union territories ko jo administer karne ka kaam bhi kaun karta hai ye mainly power kiske hath mein rehta hai president ke hath mein lekin wo ja ke nahi karta वहां पे एक एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर होता है जो पावर को कंट्रोल करता है पर उसका मेन डायरेक्शन किसके हाथ में होता है ऑन दी हैंड ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट ओके सो ही हैज ए ग्रेट फंक्शन और फिर इसमें अगर मैं ऐड करूं यहाँ पे आ, कुछ भी एक्शन मतलब करने के लिए इंडिया में कुछ भी चीज लेने के लिए पॉलिसी को हाथ में लेने के लिए इट हैज टू गो थ्रो दी सिग्नेचर ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट a law or bill cannot become a law or bill if it is not signed by the president of india okay so uska signature ka kaam jaise ki maine jo tax pe kiya tha tab aapko agar yaad hai to nominal tax pe maine likha tha president of india so he is a nominal head uska maane kya hua he does not sit in the parliament he does not make policies for the country but he has to sign the policies that is passed by the parliament final ratification final signature president ka hona bahut zaruri hai to yahan pe head of the state head of the nation jo bola jata hai ye iske bola jata hai plus nominal head isliye bhi bola jata hai okay so president ka kaam bahut sara sara cheez hota hai he does not sit in the parliament तो आप लोग सोचोगे कि ही डैस नॉट सिट इन दी पार्लियामेंट तो क्या करता है बैठ बैठ के ओके तो ये काम करता है वो तो बहुत सारा चीजों को वो <coughs> बारीकी से देखता है बारीकी से करता है ओके और ये सब काम जो करना है ये भी बहुत सारा टास्क में आता है उनका प्रोसीजर का ओके तो हम धीरे धीरे करके एक एक करके लेंगे जो आज मैंने लिया है यहाँ पे एक्सिक्यूटिव फंक्शन एक्सिक्यूटिव पावर सी स्टूडेंट्स आ, ये आपके लिए नया है और आप अगर इसको समझना है आपको तो बारीकी से थोड़ा थोड़ा करके समझने में अच्छा है ठीक है तो इसके लिए मैंने आज एक पार्ट लिया है दैट इज एक्सिक्यूटिव फंक्शंस और एक्सिक्यूटिव पावर्स ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट ओके तो ज्यादा ज्यादा मैं फिर बोल के जाती हूँ हु इज द प्रेसिडेंट प्रेसिडेंट इज द फर्स्ट सिटीजन ऑफ द कंट्री ही इज द हेड ऑफ द स्टेट ओके तो आप ये याद रखना ये दोनों बात ओके सो विथ दिस आई एम कंक्लूडिंग माय दिस लेक्चर टुडे थैंक यू